Hello friends, today I am really glad to release part 3 of the Garden Tips and Hacks compilation and this edition is a compilation of some really useful general easy to do gardening hacks that's coming up. Welcome back. If you are a hobby gardener or interested in growing plants, consider subscribing to this channel. Also turn on the notification bell icon so that you won't miss any updates. Now let's begin. Scrape your nails into a soap before working with your garden soil or potting mix if you do not want to use garden gloves. This helps in cleaning your hands easily later on and also the dirt won't enter into your nail beds. Make a cello trap tape. Wrap the cello tape in reverse on your fingers and use the sticky part to touch on the leaves infested with pests like aphids and white flies. Use dirty aquarium water to fertilize your plants. When you are performing a periodic cleanup, do not throw away the water and the filter waste. Just pour small amounts of it to your plants. It contains helpful bacteria and some trace nutrients that can really help your plants. Similarly, use cooking water to fertilize your garden. When you boil or steam some vegetables, do not pour the water into the drain. Instead, once the water has cooled, water your plants with it. It contains many essential nutrients for your plants. Mix some mineral oil into a pail of sand and insert your garden tools after use to keep them sharp and rust free. Sprinkle fine cinnamon powder on your seeds and seedlings to protect seeds and seedlings from rot. For acid loving plants like azaleas and roses, use alum 5 grams in 500 ml of water once every 10 days and this will really boost the growth and flowering. Remove clayrich soil using a simple hack. When you bring your plant from a nursery and start repotting, most often you find they have stuffed the plant in a clay rich sticky soil. You can remove this soil without damaging the roots by soaking the root ball in water for few minutes till the soil dissolves. Then you can repot this plant into a well draining potting mix. Do not forget to water this newly repotted plant with Epsom salt, about 1 teaspoon in 1 litre of water to counter transplant shock. Loosen up your roots. When you remove the root ball from for repotting, loosen up or free up some roots at the bottom and also at the sides. Use a tablecloth or any large bed sheet or any cloth to drag heavy weight like your potting soil bags and even any large or heavy garden items. Use this universal organic formula to deter most rodents and animals from your garden and even pests. If you have already experienced rodent and animal attacks on your garden, you will realize the importance of this uh, tip. Add one and a half teaspoon of chili powder to one liter of water. Plus add three to four drops of liquid dish soap to help the spray adhere to the surfaces of the plant. Then. To make it more potent, add one or two pieces of crushed garlic or even you can add paste, garlic paste. Plus, you can add some fr uh, crushed chopped onion pieces. Mix it thoroughly well and then leave it for 24 hours. Then use this solution to spray on your plants. But do a patch test on your leaf first and check whether the leaf is wilting if it is too strong. If it is so, then you can dil dilute this accordingly and use it on your plants safely. Another simplest way to repel some animals like cats, dogs and uh, rabbits is to soak uh, some pieces of cloth with vinegar, white vinegar and stuff them in some areas of your garden. These animals cannot withstand the smell of vinegar and may not return back if you repeat this process for a few days. To promote more blooms and growth of your flowering plants, do not hesitate to perform these three tasks. Pinching, that is cutting the growing tips of stems and branches to promote more branching. Number two, deadheading, that is removing the dried or drying flowers along with the twig from your plant. Then number three, pruning, this helps promote more growth and makes the plant more bushy. Then 
if you do not have any chemical rooting hormone or powder that is the indole butyric acid you can dip your cuttings in honey cinnamon powder fresh aloe vera gel and even your saliva or spit so there we have it folks that was our part 3 episode of some of the useful gardening tips and hacks if you like the video please give it a thumbs up share the video and comment below the video also consider subscribing if you are new to the channel happy gardening